join me on a beautiful photo walk of a lighting display at Christmas time in a local Japanese styled garden. I was using the Canon EOS M6 Mark II with a 16mm f1.4 Sigma lens. The main focus was just enjoying the beautiful lighting display, but taking photos is a nice addition. This lens does suffer from aberrations, especially visible with cloudy white skies. I've taken so many photos of this garden, but every time you see something new, you see something interesting. Considering the APS-C crop is a unique one, it's still somewhat wide, but not as wide as you might hope sometimes. Although the nice large maximum aperture gives you a lot of flexibility. Good combination, large aperture, which is definitely nice in the nighttime. It is a very large lens, chonky on the M6 Mark II. For the settings, I was using aperture priority, simple enough. This time of year, it's not especially exciting in the daytime, but it made it work still out there taking photos enjoying the photography itself i had the full mix of daylight hours into golden hour and then complete darkness the gopro does struggle in the nighttime as you'll see stabilization starts to fall apart if you love rgb gaming pcs maybe maybe things like this will be a good match for you take your camera out take some photos of all the rgb the sigma 16 millimeter is pretty nice up close Get photos of small berries, leaves, anything in the area that you notice want to feature in your photo yet get a nice blurred out background, get up close. Of course shooting in aperture priority you have the option to adjust exposure compensation or just let the camera do its thing. In this case it will expose for the sky sometimes which actually looks very nice. The building lights in combination with the exterior lighting display was a good photo opportunity so definitely took advantage of that. It got dark enough that the lighting display was the key focus and I switched pretty much to f1.4 to get the maximum amount of light into the camera. The lighting display completely changes the dynamic of photography at the garden. They created focal points with the lights and you notice different things as you walk around. Even something moderately wide like the 60mm on APS-C. So if you get really low, really high, include foreground objects. All those things can definitely increase the interest of the photo. This is an enjoyable photo walk at one of my favorite places in the area to take photos. Having the lighting display added a new dynamic to the photography which was great. Sigma 16mm f1.4 DCDN contemporary lens. In this case on the EFM mount it's available for the Sony E mount, the L mount, and I think the Fujifilm mount. But uh, yeah I like the lens actually I wish I had it for the Sony E mount as well. Just in video situations it's really really nice. The focal length I think works well for that considering all the crap and such. I'm about arm's length from the lens looks good i'm actually at f1.4 1 160th of a second iso 400 so i have two very not bright lights going on and then one in the background obviously in the photo situations i don't think it's an amazing lens optically but it's at least for the efm mount you don't have a lot of options so in this case i think it is a good general option for this specific mount now if you get into the sony e-mount Things like that in photography situations, you might want to look around, make sure that it you know compares well to other options. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Scott Trophy Bonsai. Thanks.